So now we need to design our very own widget that we can add here instead of having uh, these widgets here. So to do that is easier than you think. So let's see what the documentation says. So when we go to widgets here, this is in the theme functionality and widgets. We get information on how the widgets work, but most importantly, we get the, the source code. So we're going to expand here. Let me just click um, widget. The widget uses a class. I should mention that. So it would be nice to have some uh, knowledge in object oriented PHP if you want to dive very deep into uh, widget design. However, it's not necessary, but uh, at least you'll be able to understand what's going on a lot better. So let's click here. And uh, wait a minute. Actually, we need this right here. Okay, that's much better. So I'm going to copy all of this, copy up to the bottom. I copied the PHP tags as well. Now the thing is, creating a widget, you have to add it to your functions.php. So right here in the functions.php, that's where the widget will reside. However, just like we did with this walker, it's not a good idea to put the code in here because it makes the whole thing look like a mess. So instead, we're going to do exactly what we did with the walker. So right in template parts, right click new file and paste this content. Save this and uh, we're going to put all our widgets in here. So I'm just going to say widgets.php save. Okay. Now it's always a good idea to remove the closing PHP tag. We don't need it. Okay. That will save you some problems and make sure that you don't leave any space before the PHP opening tag here. Make sure it's right at the very beginning. And then not forgetting in the functions with PHP, we're going to duplicate this and right here instead of walker, we're going to change this to widgets.php. So if we want to create another widget, all we have to do is duplicate all this code that is here, the class itself, and then the core to the class, because here we are instantiating the class. So just repeat the code down here and then change the widget's name. So you see here, class my widget, this will be the, uh, let's see, base ID, my text name. Okay, so this is your widget class. So that's my widget. You can change it to anything you want. So register widget. And if you change that, you should change that as well. Just uh... so we are adding an action here. You could add this from the outside, no problem. But uh, here we are doing it in the constructor. That way, the moment we instantiate the class right here, it's going to do the registration there. Okay. So now I can change my widget to, um, what do we call this widget anyway? Um, actually, let's just leave it as my widget. Now you can name it anything you want, depending on the widget, what the widget is going to be doing. So like we have seen on our blog here, we have some widgets that are search bars and we have some that are social icons, others are Actually, let's just do, uh, maybe we can do recent posts that will give us a chance to see uh, how we can use the query theme in uh, WordPress. So let me just say recent underscore posts underscore widgets, widget single. So this is my recent post widget. So to instantiate, I must use that here as well, because now that's the class name. And the name here doesn't really matter at all. It's just a handle, that's it. So recent posts widget. Hmm. Now let's um, come back here to this point and let's refresh the page. 
Now if I click here on add widgets and scroll down, uh, let's see. There's uh, this one right here, my text. Let me come back to, uh, this is the name of your widget. So let's change that to recent. Uh, let's put my so that this is different from the one that exists already. Or we can say uh, most viewed recent posts. Hmm, maybe let's change it to most viewed widget. I think that would be more useful. Yeah, so let's do most underscore viewed widget. Okay. And then here, uh, let's change that to most viewed posts like this. This is the ID that you're going to use as reference. So the best to do is to copy the title put it here, change it to small letters and put the dashes here because we don't want uh, spaces in the ID. So let's edit and convert case to lowercase. All right, so now we have most viewed posts. We should see it in step, instead of the my text here. So let me refresh and uh, click here. And you see there, most viewed posts. Okay, cool. So what exactly will it display? That's the question. So there are a few functions in here. Now this before title, after title, just refers to what it will show before the title, any tags that you want to add, maybe div tags, h4 tags, and so on. So this is just pure HTML. And then here there's widget. This is the main function. So whatever you put in here, is what the widget will display okay so let's say for example there's a div here and there's a div and then there's some html here so what i want to do is remove that like that okay i'll leave everything else as it is this is just echoing what is before the widget and what is after the widget as specified in here this is the actual content so all I need to do here is let's say, let me echo, uh, this is most viewed posts like that. Okay, so whatever I type in here, that's what will be viewed. So let me try and add this. Let me refresh just to, oh, okay. So we got an error here. Uh, because we didn't put a semicolon at the end, so don't forget those. Now I'm going to uh, right here on this segment, I will add one and just say uh, browse all. So there's latest posts, but there's most viewed. Click, and this is it here. So as you can see, it's showing me uh, most viewed posts, right? And then there's input, uh, title, and text. Now, this is the reason it's showing this is where I can add information. Now, the reason it's showing that particular content is because there's this function called form. And so it reads from form. And this is what is contained inside form. What is the last function here is update. This is what happens when you update that information from form this is the part that saves that information. So there's the form you see first when you load the widget. And then this is what happens when you update the form. And then this is how it's going to display that information. So the only thing to display is this is the most viewed post, that's it. And I'm going to use an H1 tag. That way it's a little bit uh, big. Oh, it's too late now because I need to refresh in order for this to work. Leave. So let's try that again. And I'm going to click Add. Browse All. And down here, Most Viewed Posts, I add. 
So it's going to show me what contents are in the form function, which is this. But then if I click away to save, you see, this is the most viewed posts. It's showing me what I have added in here. So I can add anything here. Um, I can say something like uh, any text here. Okay. And if I now update, let me update that. Okay, so that widget is saved. Let me refresh so that I see the proper information. And it will show, what will it show? Come on, come on, any text here. And if I go to my page here, it will show that here as well. Any text here. Okay, so you see that the CSS from the outside affects it here as well, because the text here is different and the text here, the font is different because this is being affected by the whole page. So as you can see, it just echoes HTML as you would expect. So a widget is just a bunch of HTML that you add to your page. That's all it is, okay? So the reason widgets exist is so you can, <coughs> excuse me, so you can move things around without having to record everything. So that way you can shift this part down here, the other part up there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you just it's a way of shifting HTML code around without having to recode the HTML itself. So that's what widgets do. Otherwise, they're not different from posts here or what the header is here because it's all just HTML at the end of the day. Now, in the next video, we're going to look at how to actually put something useful in this. So I want us to have most viewed posts in there. So we'll have a list here. This one has recent posts, right? But here we can have most viewed. You can put whatever you want in there. Uh, do some calculations, read from the database and bring the data in here. So we'll see how to do that in the next video.